we're rolling. We are rolling. Uh, things look good. Framing looks good. Even the hair looks good. Uh, Kathy gave me a haircut yesterday. Makes me move a lot faster. I, I can I can slip through the air quicker. I'm more uh, aerodynamic, as they say. Uh, good morning, Liz. You're the first uh, to join us today for Art Talk. Uh, lots of cool stuff going on this week. Exciting. I hope you guys are going to have a spectacular week. We're going to talk about some fun things today. Uh, Dennis, good morning. Dennis, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I hope you are got your coffee. I don't have my coffee. Okay, never mind. I, I've had enough. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine the way things are. Um, just want to get a little bit organized before we start. Uh, let, hey, Brad, good morning. Uh, we have uh, three people on board, four people. Wes, good morning. Okay, uh, this is Art Talk, and I am Fireball, your host for today. Uh, Brad says, good morning. Uh, yeah, hairstyle. Kathy gave me a haircut. Looking pretty good. Uh, Dennis says, good morning. Uh, today, uh, I, I want to do a quick intro for some of you maybe who have not um, joined us before. This is episode four of Art Talk, and in Art Talk, uh, it's it's my attempt to help you guys think creatively and expand your lives in a creative way so that you can prosper, so that you can bring fulfillment, happiness, maybe some money, you know, a variety of things, and, uh, and make your lives better on a daily basis. Consider yourselves building a wall, and today is one brick. That's kind of simple, simple way of, of looking at that. Um, as I mentioned, I am Fireball. Most of you guys know that, uh, but some people, uh, if you've never been to Art Talk before, Good morning, Stan. I haven't seen you here before, so maybe this is new for you. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, we are doing a Facebook Live. This will be uh, taken and put up on YouTube also, so you'll get a chance if you miss this thing or you can only watch for a certain period of time, you can watch this stuff later. And it's my goal in this show to be able to motivate you guys, get you excited about your lives through the creative process, whether you're an artist in as an illustrator painter, sculptor, uh, you're building a car or building a business plan, or if you're uh, trimming trees, doesn't really matter what it is. We are, uh, as human beings, we are creative. And uh, good morning, Chris. Um, we are creative beings, and that means that we create. We are here to create and make our lives better and to, uh, uh, to love what we do and do what we love. And that's our goal uh, in this art talk as well as in the vlog and our car shows and a variety of other things. Dino Powell, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know where you guys are. And on top of that, since this is live, you can ask me any questions for this time period uh, in regards to the subject of what we're talking about. And today's topic is going to be um, assumption and, and how assumption can be the great killer of success. And, uh, and what that means is that uh, in my business, uh, our company is called Fireball Publishing, and it's uh, actually a duality. Uh, originally, we had a company called KCL Productions, which we still do. Uh, Dino's in Kentucky. Very cool. Um, bluegrass. Very awesome. Uh, our company, KCL Productions, and Fireball Publishing, uh, the KCL division is kind of what Kathy does, and she builds mascots and oversized props and things like that for Hollywood and for commercials and things like that. And the Fireball Publishing, of course, is our coloring books, to which we have tons of coloring books, primarily focusing on cars and beach life and sea life. Uh, you can get those books on Amazon. Uh, right now, I'm working on a Porsche book. Uh, we have Vets and Mustangs, as you guys know, Woody's, vintage trailers, things like that. But um, to be successful in any creative business, uh, assumption is always a challenge. Assumption is a challenge because... Um, it leads down a road that you really don't want to go. And uh, I've always found it very uh, a very strong asset in my life that I never want to assume anything. Uh, Todd Powell, uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I never want to assume anything. You know, when, when Kathy gets a job and she's working on a mascot uh, and there's a question uh, we're not sure about, something not sure, um, there's a point at which a lot of people... Uh, we'll just assume that that's the way things are. And I want you guys to see the the seed of, of assumption. What causes people to assume things and not want to take a stand or find out the truth or um, to follow through? And that can be tough. Good morning, James. Thanks for joining. Having a good time today. Our talk, episode four, uh, here on Facebook Live, uh, soon to be on YouTube and everywhere else. Uh, who else do we want? We don't want to... No, we don't want to do that. Um, 
So uh, assuming things is a, is a challenge as a creative person uh, when you get an assignment or that you assume something's gonna fit without trying it, without making sure. And, and that's kind of a, it's a, it's a mental uh, journey, a very short mental journey that you go through. Uh, good morning, Robert. Uh, and that journey is, goes from a combination of hesitation and laziness and ultimately to fear, is that the reason that we don't follow through and we assume things is we're a little bit afraid at what the answer might be. Uh, we don't want to take that step. So as a creative person, if you want to be successful in any creative process, you have to look at assumption as your asset. Um, and uh, I don't know what the joke is, but I know there's a joke about assumption. It makes an ass out of you and me or something like that. Uh, Carmelo, Dale, thanks for watching. Uh, we're talking about um, how assumption is uh, can, can often be a great killer for success. So uh, assumption leads to uh, the idea of hesitation, is that if we have a question in our mind about whether we should do something or follow through with something, uh, we, we have that hesitation, we ask that question. And in, in any given situation, our life is built up of millions of choices. So uh, we have to identify what it is that we want and we have to find the best route, the most efficient route that we can get there. We can achieve what it is that we're trying to achieve that's what's best for us. So lots of people make decisions based on um, anxiety or fear and uh, they're not thinking through necessarily to the end goal. They're just thinking about dealing with the issue itself. So. If you have a challenge in your life and, um, hey, Joe Pep, what's up, buddy? If you have a challenge in your life and you're trying to get to a certain place, whether you're building a car or whether you're, um, you have a conversation that's a challenge that you wanna have with your boss or maybe with your wife or your husband and uh, you're hesitating to, to do that, um, uh, did she say that she wanted cantaloupe or did she say that she wanted honeydew? This kind of stuff, you're at the store and you just assume that uh, I think it was a cantaloupe instead of actually taking a moment to find out and give her a call and find out the truth because I've been down that road. I know you guys have. And assumption makes a ass out of you and me and pretty much anyone else involved. Uh, Dave, uh, Jeffrey, thanks for joining me. Facebook Live, we are doing another episode of Art Talk. This is episode four. And we're talking about uh, the assumption, uh, assumption being the great killer of success. Now, it's, it's a combination of, of hesitation. And then, then why don't we want to find out? Why, do we wanna, why don't we want to take that extra step just to make that call, to call the boss, to call the client, to find out what did they mean by that exactly? Um, that's a big thing when it comes to lawyers and, and uh, legal battles and things like that. Oh, I just assume that that's what they mean. Uh, you never want to assume. You never want to assume. And um, a way to pass through that and to, um, uh, to ensure success is to take that extra step because you're receiving, we talked earlier in an earlier art talk, that our mind, our brain, is not a place where ideas are generated. It's, it's not. Uh, it's, a way, it's a place where ideas are received and it's a way to um, send those, those, those uh, vibrations out. That's the way our, our mind works. It's a receiving station. It's like a radio radio station. And, you know, we can play music and we can send that out or we can receive signals from wherever, the great beyond, whatever you want to call it, whatever your faith is, whatever your, uh, you consider um, to be a power greater than yourself. And there's, there's a lot of that. So ultimately, um, people assume things and don't follow through because of one thing, because of fear. Uh, and the fear is the is really the great killer. Fear uh, uh, causes hesitation. Fear causes um, uh, you to second guess yourself, uh, to question whether what you're doing is right and what you're not doing. Uh, hold on, I got an eye itch. Here we go. That's what you get for uh, working live instead of the vlog. See, in the vlog I could cut that out, but now I gotta actually rub my eye. And you guys have to watch, and that's the way it goes. Uh, but that's live, and that's the way it works. Uh, I am in my office uh, here in Malibu, and um, if you guys haven't seen our vlog, it's Fireball Malibu Vlog. It airs on YouTube, and our our uh, um, our website, FireballTim.com. We, uh, we just crested 900 episodes, all about cool cars and stuff. You know, if you guys have have seen those things, um, you probably have been on the vlog. Good morning, Scott. What's up, buddy? 
Uh, today, uh, episode four of our talk, we're talking about assumption and how that can be a problem for people. So uh, what is the answer? You know, if you guys have experienced um, uh, being faced with a choice and, and you have to either assume that this is the way it is or you find out what are some tips that you would want to give people, leave a, leave a comment down in the, in the comments section. Uh, you can ask them questions as we're talking. But um, ultimately, it really comes down to one thing, doesn't it? It comes down to fear. It comes down to the fear and anxiety is that, is that what's the truth I'm going to find out? You know, uh, I don't want to um, assume that these guys are, are saying things the way they're, they're uh, yeah, yeah, morning, fresh haircut. Yes, I'm much faster now. Whoosh. Good morning, Johnny. So um, in, in working out assumption, I've always found it to be best practice is to always take that extra bit of time. Never have any anxiety because anxiety is a product of fear. Is that uh, it's always better to know and to be clear and to take a, a, a step, uh, a simple step, whether it's a phone call, whether it's an email or a text, ask the question, uh, what did you mean by this? What was exactly uh, the, your intention here? And through that, uh, one step at a time, success is generally ensured. So that allows you to, um, to move forward. Uh, Jeffrey says, maybe ego, fear of being thought of as dumb. Yes, exactly. Um, we do have those fears. Uh, you know, everybody has slightly different fears depending on how they've been programmed. And uh, some people have fear of criticism. Uh, fear of looking like an idiot, as Jeffrey mentioned, um, fear of what might, someone might say, uh, fear of uh, no, uh, lots of things. And the interesting thing about that, now you guys, uh, I can do a quick Bible reference, although it's not a religious thing, but, um, you know, in the Bible it talks about that, uh, you know, a, a lot of people follow Jesus and that Jesus is, uh, was a, is a very powerful figure in their minds. And the, the interesting thing about that is it isn't really so much about Jesus as, as your belief in it, your belief in whether something can be successful or not. And those, those uh, pre-programmed things like your ego, as Jeffrey mentioned, um, as thought of being dumb, is that there may have been something that happened to you in your life when you were young that you attempted to do something and someone called you stupid. They called you a knucklehead or, or you felt bad about... Uh, raising your hand. So now you have a fear of raising your hand because you look stupid at the time. And we we program those things in. So uh, uh, lots of people don't follow through and just assume things, would rather assume things because they feel less pain uh, if, they're, if they can just assume it and deal with it and not find out the truth because they are afraid. They are afraid that um, they maybe they made a mistake. And, um, and I've been down that road. You know, we've had clients where uh, uh, Kathy's building something and she covers it in green because we we had that discussion, and uh, and then they call back and said we assumed you were covering it in purple or or something like that. So you know it, it's it's important that in communication that the clearer you are, ultra clear, even overly clear, uh, the smoother things are going to flow. So uh, if you ask somebody to do something for you, if you ask somebody to do something for free, you're not going to pay them. You have to be supremely clear and they have to understand exactly what the the parameters are and that really helps i found that to be a, a great asset in what it is that we do hayden thanks for joining me today uh joe pepton says when you have working advertising and publishing for over 40 years you find out the hard way uh in the very beginning what happens when you assume yes um uh, assuming um now can assumption be a positive thing well, it can, and um, the thing about that is that uh, I think you guys have, have probably heard this, I think Confucius or somebody said, um, those that can't and those that can't are both correct, they're both right, and that is simply your belief system. And, uh, and the, the whole goal here on this art talk, uh, Johnny says, self-esteem many times is the foundation, most everything starts with the foundation. Of course it does, you know, building a house, uh, building a car, all those things. And the stronger your foundation, uh, the cl more clear you are about your intentions, the, the better things will move. Now, I want you guys to get out there today and I want you to be clear. 
about your intentions, about what you want for the day. Not necessarily in dealing with your employees or your boss, and although that's good, but I want you to, when this RTAC is over, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to set an intention. How do you want the day to be? And that's very important. You have to stick with that. You have to take that very seriously because we're not screwing around here. This is your life and it's going by very quickly. And if you don't kick it into gear and set an intention and set your goals for what it is that you want for you or your family, then you're not going to achieve that. And I think you're going to feel like crap if you don't do that. So, uh, Carly, thanks for, for joining me today on Art Talk Episode 4 here on Facebook Live. I, got, I want you guys to take this seriously. Um, there, you know, there is no shortcut to success. But you can understand that if I do want to build a wall, then I need to do it one brick at a time. But it's not just about the brick. It's about laying the most perfect brick that you possibly can. And ultimately, you'll have a wall. Now, we're building a business having to do with these, these coloring books that we're doing. And our goal is to create a, an arsenal and a juggernaut of all these things. Good morning, Carly. Um, and um, uh, in order to do that, uh, you have to break it down in doable chunks. You know, it can be overwhelming to try and think about uh, how do I create a coloring book business? How do I uh, build all this? How, you know, how do I reach all these people, millions of people in order to, to hit my goals and all that kind of stuff? Well, it comes down to what it is that I'm working on today. Specifically, what's my brick for today? And if it's too overwhelming just to think about today, then you want to think about what am I going to do over the next 10 minutes? What can I do? And, and I always break it down to the sketch is today's sketch. Uh, we are working on the new Porsche book, and that's scheduled for April 1st launch. That's our, our next book that's happening. And uh, today, I just, I just have to do one sketch. I just have to do one concept that's based on a, a particular car, and if I focus on that, and if I stay on that, then I can say, well, I will assume I will hit my goal. But we always want to make sure that there isn't any floating things out there, anything that's weird. Uh, Douglas Thrill is watching. Thank you for watching, Douglas. Uh, good to see you. And um, uh, today is Monday. Today is Monday. It's a, it's a spectacular... I, I love Mondays because Monday means a, like a fresh start. I have a blank canvas and I can move forward with intention. So I want you guys to get out there today. I want you to take this day seriously and set your intention for what you want to achieve today, what you want your your goals to be in a broader picture, but what you want your goals to be today. And your goal should definitely definitely be the art of fulfillment. It's something that um, that you can do today that makes you happy, something that you can look forward to, whether it's getting a haircut, whether it's taking a guitar lesson, whether it's working on your car, whatever it is. You have to have something every day to look forward to, something that makes you happy. And the more of those things that you can do, which is why on the vlog and on this show, we want you guys to follow through with what you love. You have to, you have to focus on what you love. It's a very easy thing to identify. Um, but people aren't successful because they either uh, can't identify it or they can and they don't necessarily believe that they can achieve it. Uh, Chris says, Aloha from Germany, Foundation Store, First Brick. I'm not sure what you're asking, but Aloha from Germany. I get, I get that. Foundation Store, First Brick. Um, yeah, you know, if you're, if you're going to build a foundation, well, if you're building a store, then you got to start out with foundation. You got to start out with that first brick. It's the reason that they make a big party about doing that one scoop or the ribbon cutting. It's that first step, that first step. So if you have something that you're facing today and uh, you, you have been putting it off, what's one simple first step that you can do? And if you can get through to that, if you can make that first step happen, you'll be amazed at how things start to steamroll and snowball. Uh, Douglas says, hi, thank you, good morning. I gotta get the Porsche book. Of course you do, it's gonna be awesome. And I don't even know what it looks like yet. It's gonna be awesome, uh, spectacular. I'm very excited about it. So um, that's really kind of the subject for today. So um, uh, I guess I'm saying don't make an ass of yourselves. Don't assume anything today. Don't assume the day is going to go this way or it's going to go that way. Make the day go the way you want it to go. Set an intention. Close your eyes. But it comes down to your belief, your belief system. You can set an intention, but if you really don't believe it, then it's probably not going to happen. So you have to pick something that you can believe in. If, you're, if your intention is, I'm going to make $10,000 today, but that's a little out of your range, then you could say, well, I'm going to make $500 today. Pick something that you can believe in, something that's solid for you, something that you can, you can really work with. 
And then when you do achieve it, even if it took two days, it, when you do achieve it, you're going to feel amazing. And that's what this, this what comes down to, is I want you to set an intention. I want you to believe it. I want you to feel it so, so that you can connect the thought with the feeling, and then you can move forward. And that's how it works, people. Okay? So get out there today. Have fun. Uh, keep it as positive as you possibly can. And even if there's Dr. Knows out there, even if there's some some a-holes that uh, come across your path. And Dino says, really do appreciate you. I need to hear this today. Awesome. Fantastic, Dino. Um, uh, Kentucky, right? I got that right. Okay. In Kentucky, uh, it's probably beautiful. Maybe it's cold, whatever it is. But it's not the things that happen to you in your life. It's how you react to them. So you want to make sure that your reaction is that intention, is that I'm not going to let this bother me. You want to take a step back. Uh, there is a, a great woman that you should, you guys should investigate. Her name is Mel Robbins. She talks about the five-second rule. You count yourself down, five, four, three, two, one, slowly. And then what you're doing is you're going from the back of the brain where the fear exists and you're moving all the way to the prefrontal cortex where you can focus and set your intention, okay? And once you have it there, you can focus and you can strengthen your belief and you can get that shit done, Okay. That's what you're going to do today. I have faith in you. I love you guys. I know that you can do this, and I know that you're going to do this. Okay? Today is Tuesday. This is Art Talk. I am Fireball, and this is Facebook Live. We will continue this tomorrow. All right? Have a spectacular day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.